Heidi ho, Heidi ho. Um, so we have gotten our circles all painted. The sections, all of the circles that we're going to use to create our caterpillar are all done, ready to go. So I think we should grab those scissors and start cutting them out and then it occurred to me, wait a minute, we're going to cut them out and then we're going to glue them down. But what are we going to glue them to? Ah, I don't know, I don't know. But then I came up with an idea. I think we should actually paint one more time, guys. What do you think about that? You think we should paint one more time? Yes! We should paint, we should paint, we should, we should, we should paint. So, what we're going to do is we're going to get a sheet of paper and we're going to paint the background for our caterpillar. I know you saw this. This is a uh, watercolor. It's liquid watercolor. In fact, it comes in a little bottle like this. See that? See that? Liquid watercolor. And so all you need is a little, little bit for what we're going to do. I know you was looking like, wait a minute, that's not enough paint to do anything, Mr. P. That's not enough. It is plenty, I promise you. Okay? So the first things first, we want to get our sheet of paper and we have to write our names on our paper. And this is like one of the most important times to do this because this paper is going to end up being all wet. Um, and you're not going to be able to write it without possibly taking a chance and the point going through your paper. Yeah, we don't want to rip our paper, so we want to write our name first. Okay, good. As you saw, we have really large brushes. We're going to use this. And we have a container with clear water. And then we have our paint container. Of course, we have our primary colors. Our yellow, our red, and our blue. This one stays clear because there's only three primary colors. Okay. So before the water gets all messed up with your paint, we want to take our brush and we want to dip a little bit just in the clear water just in the clear water and we're going to take that water over to our paper and we're going to actually do what we call washing the paper because we're going to do what we I like to call watercolor wash it's a watercolor wash okay and we're going to pick two of our primary colors so we're going to get the paper a little wet just a little bit just brush just a little bit of water on your paper and then we're going to pick two colors two of the colors only two colors because last week when we were mixing what color did you end up with if you made a mistake and mixed all three yeah a brownish color a really ugly brownish color okay so we don't want to do that here we so we're only going to pick two colors two colors and we're going to start with our lightest color our lightest color and I think my two colors if I picked yellow and blue the lightest one would be of course the yellow exactly but but let, 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 let's do this if I picked blue and red what would be the lightest color R what what red you got it okay you want to pick the lightest color first I'm gonna go with the yellow since I got a little yellow spot up there already and I'm gonna dip just the tip of my brush in the yellow. All you need is the tip. And then watch this. I'm just going to go across the page starting from the top and I'm going to work my way down. From the top and work my way down. Just a little dab of do you. From the top and you work your way down. Okay? Now you're not going to go all the way down. You'll go about halfway with this color. Go about halfway because remember we're picking two colors. Alright? About halfway. I think I'm going to go to the blue. I think I want to do the blue. So I'm going to clean my brush. I had yellow on there. I'm going to clean my brush in the water over here to the side. And then I'm going to take that clean brush over to the blue. Dab just a little bit on the tip. I'm just using the tip, guys. I just want to put just the tip of my brush in that blue. And then I'm going to start at the bottom. See that? Start at the bottom. And I want to work my way all the way up. Once you get up into that first color you picked, you're going to notice that it actually changes color. You see that? It kind of changes color on you. I thought that was pretty cool. But that's it, guys. 
that's what we're going to do for the background of our caterpillar. That was really fast, right? Really fast, really easy. Now, I cut my caterpillar, I cut another example of it out. And so, I'm just gonna show you kind of what it's gonna look like. Um, these are really large. Um, yours should be kind of large too. And what you're gonna do is we're gonna place them how you want to glue them on your paper. Boom, isn't that awesome? Doesn't that look great? You have your background, you have your caterpillar, and all of it was done with just three colors. What three colors were they? Uh, the red, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. <gasps> the yellow, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And the blue, that's right, you did it. Pat yourself on the back, uh-huh, uh-huh. Pat yourself on the back, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, this is what we're going to do today and I would like you to go and have fun. Long brush strokes, I love that. I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Watercolor wash. Oh, look at you starting with your blue already. All right. Yep, you got it. Long brush strokes. Perfect, perfect. Are you finished already? Look at you. Look at you. Nice!